Michael Sam, you's a pioneer. Yep, yes you are. Chow! Ah! Fuck out the way! What's up everybody? Welcome into my home. It's clean, ain't it? Clean home. Well, well, well. What we have here. Michael Sam, he's a star football player, right? Yeah. I think he was the number one defensive player of the year. Of the year in his conference, which is probably the best conference. No, it is the best conference in college football. That's saying something right there. That's saying something. Yeah. This, got... dude, this dude should be going in the first round. But anyway, Michael Sam, he didn't came out. Came out of what? He didn't came out and told everybody that he's gay. He's gay. That means he's a... What does that mean? That means, as a man, he doesn't like women sexually. He no! May like, he may like them for buddies. No! But what he likes sexually is a man. That's what that means. What you mean, no? I mean, most people that's gay, man, they bisexual, man. That's all I'm saying. He likes women too, man. But he prefers a man's butt. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Let's get serious on this. Now, this video is not intended to yeah. offend anybody. Yeah, okay? It, it, we're not, this video is not to offend gay men, bisexual men, Asexual men or heterosexual men or any uh, or any females or anything like that. This yeah. video is solely to let you know what's going down in these locker rooms. <laughs> Shut up! Come, let's get serious on this. Now I'm getting serious. Harsh twins got love for everybody. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm not homophobic. Homophobic. So I better not see no comments saying I'm homophobic in the yeah. comments. Yeah. That term is used too loosely nowadays. Yeah. That's true, man. Okay, I'm not homophobic. I'm just asking the question. If this is going to be successful yeah. for Mr. Sam, what's his name? Michael Sam? Michael Sam. If he's going to have a long, successful career in the NFL, there's some serious questions that need to be answered. Yeah. Right? That's now, true. the biggest obstacle I, I see to this man's career, yeah. it's not... Whether he's talented enough playing in the NFL or anything like that, he's got the talent. Oh, he's got the talent, got the skills, got the power, got the size, the speed, the power, you know, the will know. to succeed. He got all that. Yeah, he's got brains, he's smart, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But a question that needs to be addressed is how they're going to handle these locker room situations. Yeah. Now that's a serious question. Yeah, and that's a very important question because, because in these locker rooms, yeah, dudes is walking around naked. Yeah, there's group showers, right? I remember when I was in boot camp, man. This made me uncomfortable, man. I was young. I was only like, eight, I was what, 18? 19? Yeah, I remember that. It was very yeah, uncomfortable. Right? That was my very first group shower. I and really looking back on that, man, made me feel, you know, I was young. I was just a kid, though, man. But I remember this one white boy, man, he was looking at everybody. He had glasses on, and he had an erection. Kelvin, don't even go into that. He did, man. He looking back gay. on that, man, that dude was gay. You know that? He was looking at everybody. No. He wouldn't even take a shower. Wasn't nobody paying attention to him. <laughs> I'm like, damn, am I the only person to see this dude scoping out all these big round black asses with soap oozing down? <laughs> Look here, man. You know what I'm saying? He got kicked out, right? No, they didn't kick him out. No, they called him out. Um, that fool knew 15 different languages. He was going into intelligence. Okay, whatever. We getting off subject. Yeah. Now, I'm not saying every gay man, every gay man, when he sees another man, he wants to penetrate him and yeah. explode inside him. I'm not saying that. Yeah. It's the same way with me. When I see a woman, yeah. I don't like all women because I'm into women. There's yeah. certain types of women I want yeah. and I like to look at. And if you catch me at a good time, man, like I, if I'm in a bad situation, I might just say the hell with it. You know what I'm saying? Just so, do it for GP. So 
Let, okay, let's, let me put it to you like this. Let's say I like women, right? Let's say I take a shower with a bunch of naked women. I'm not going to like all the women in there. Let's, say it's, let's say it's like 40 women in there. But you know what? I'm going like, to like at least a couple of them, I know. But you know what, though? What? They could be average, below average. If I'm in the shower with her, I'm going to get in the wretch. That's just me, though. I'm crazy like Not that. if all of them are like nasty and just gross. I don't care if they're nasty. There's females in there looking at me take a shower. <laughs> I'm going to get me an erection, man. <laughs> all right, but anyway. But that's me, though, man. I might be crazy. But if I'm in the shower, it could be one average one, one cute one, and 30 hideous women in there. I'm going to get me an erection. Yeah, and see, I'm going to get swollen, fully erect. The tip is going to be engorged with blood. <laughs> Look here, man. Ser in all seriousness. And see, now, I'm not saying uh, Michael Sam's going to like every guy that's in there, but yeah. out of what? How many people on the team, man? I know at least one of them, he's going to be like, wow, you know what? He's a good looking man. I like his butt. I want to spread them cheeks, and I want to go up inside. And that's not being homophobic. For yeah. me saying that. That's it's being a, that's being that's real. being real. That's being real. That's yeah. being real. Yeah. yeah. So this needs to be addressed. So you know the, the locker room situations, it has to change. But you know what? There's been gay men in locker rooms. Oh, oh, you best believe he's not the only gay player in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah, he's I, not the only gay player. He's the only gay player that's came out publicly yeah. to let people know. Yeah. There's plenty of gay dudes in that locker room. They just haven't came out and said so. Yeah. Trust me on this. There's dudes in them locker rooms getting sucked off. <laughs> Both gay and straight. In all seriousness. Seriously now. Yeah. There's gonna have to be some changes. There's gonna have to be some changes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's gonna have to be some changes. Yeah. It's not fair to put that gay pro football player in this situation. Yeah. And yeah. it's not fair to put a straight person in the shower with a gay dude. Yeah, you It's gonna not fair to both of them. So there's gonna have to be some changes. It has to be. It's gotta be. For his safety and the safety of others. And just for the sake, I don't even know why motherfuckers be taking showers again. I still think that's crazy <laughs> as hell. That's gay as hell right there. <laughs> Why all the guys gotta take a shower together? Why you can't make individual showers? Y'all got enough money to pay these dudes millions of dollars. You can't invest the money and give people individualized showers? You're gonna have to now. I hated that myself in boot camp in the ring. I was like, why does everybody have to take a shower together? This is not right. I don't like looking at soap ooze down another man's back and in the crack of his ass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's gotta make some change. It's gotta be some changes. Man, calm down, man. It's gotta be some changes. It's gotta be now, man.